you have a wife, uh, Rose, who I've met, a lovely, uh, lovely, lovely, lovely woman. Um, she's Danish. How did such a typical Rwandan guy meet such a foreign girl from Denmark? And how did it <laughs> click? Well, people meet. People go out and meet. Yeah, but so, like, was it in Rwanda? We... Was it like on vacation? <laughs> uh, was it uh, in the... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was, uh, there was this... Uh, a party I went to, a friend of ours, we had a friend in common, without knowing, of course. Yeah, it was here in Rwanda? Then, uh, it was here in Rwanda. Uh -huh. So I went to this party, and then, um, pretty late, usually it's, it, there are some, it's really not, not a good thing to go to a party late, but I remember it was one of the uh, beautiful things that happened that night, is because um, I was late, and then therefore you get there when a few people, when it's no longer crowded. Yeah. So it's easy to spot people, and then, yeah, yeah. And also, um, you, the dancers, and, and I'm not a good dancer, but uh, it, it made it so easy when, they, when there are few people to dance. Yeah. So, yeah, it started with a dance. You started with a dance? <laughs> did you ask her, or did she come to you? Because I'm met Rose, and she's a very good dancer. So that's what I'm asking. Yeah. Uh, who asked who? I think I asked her. Okay. Yeah. So I think I typical. asked her. Very yeah. Or I think it just, yeah. yeah. Uh, she's probably going to kill me, but maybe she asked me. <laughs> so it started with the dance. Very romantic in a way. Um, um, so like I said, because like I've met Rosie, she, like, she, to me she looks like a very much, uh, you know, yeah, I don't know much about Danish women, but I know, you know, she looks like a, like a, like a typical white woman, I would say, you know. Um, <laughs> well, <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> like, what was the main thing that attracted you to her, in, you know, uh, separate from other women? Um, it was, um, yeah, Rose is a very interesting character. And uh, I think, obviously, the, the appearance. So there is the beauty, of course. The, that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. And um, but then the conversations, like um, I remember scheduling a drink with her and the interest was not, it's not like I was like, okay, I'm interested in that woman. I wonder where, uh, if I could invite her out or whatever. Yeah. So I remember having a conversation and in that time, in my head, it wasn't like, okay, this is a girl I would take out or that I like, or it wasn't like that first, th the first night, it wasn't like that. Yeah. But I remember um, we talked about... Um, we have these ongoing conversations. They, 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 they never end about things. Uh, uh, uh. So th we have many subjects that we, 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 we that interest me, that also interest her. And then we were maybe developing one of them. And then um, I remember scheduling a drink with her the next day mm -hmm. to want to finish a talk that we were having. Oh, well, must have been a very interesting talk then yeah. if you did not finish it in so, one evening. <laughs> Papyrus above uh, uh, the restaurant there. Um, it was uh, yeah, it was it was before it, it dies completely. But yeah, it yeah. was sort of a, a place to be. So yeah. we went there to have a drink, yeah. and, um, and and keep talking. Okay. So <laughs> so we we went. We had a drink. Um, I think with a pizza, mm -hmm. and then um, yeah, we we went. And then I remember not talking to her. We exchanged numbers even. Uh, the night before so mm -hmm. that we could meet um, but I remember like it wasn't like um, like I wasn't like I don't know on, on her side but uh, uh, I feel like there was no uh, such a thing as uh, like first fire uh, okay. it, with, 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 with that but she was very interesting to talk to like extreme with like this woman with a brilliant mind with awesome ideas mm -hmm. and uh uh then we 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 obviously said like yeah we have to do this again and then we kept doing it we ke i kept taking her to places like pili pili she would invite me to other places so we developed like a very Mm -hmm. like an interest uh, in each other from just having uh, things that we like to talk about. So that, yeah. Yeah, it yeah, no, looks like these conversations uh, got you very far because you eventually got married. <laughs> yes, and, um, and, you know, like now, now you are married and you, are, you have a, a three-year-old daughter. We have a three-year-old daughter. A three-year-old yeah. daughter together. Ah, yeah. And uh, you are living in Rwanda. Um, where, did you have a conversation about, did you like explicitly choose to live in Rwanda 
or is it just like a circumstance that the media happened that you guys came to live in Rwanda? Um, we we wanted like personally because I was I feel like um, uh, of, of obviously like we all had uh, uh, things like dreams and things we want to do with our professional uh, uh, with our careers and, mm -hmm. and and with our personal developments. And um, mine was sort of putting me towards Rwanda still. Yeah. And um, uh, when we met, she was still in school, and uh, she was a PhD candidate at that time. So I would, I did a fair share of uh, back and forth Rwanda mm -hmm. Denmark before then. Yeah. And uh, yeah, until um, I remember when um, uh, we sort of completely decided to relocate to Denmark, and 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 we all went there. We had a kid. And this was before you were married? When you went to relocate, it was after you got married? It was after I got married. Okay, so yeah. after you got married, you relocated to, to Denmark. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then from then, there on, when did you decide? Like, now it's like in, during those back and forths before then, we, when, we, when we were uh, sort of seeing each other, we got married. Okay. So then, uh, but I was still considering Rwanda as my base, uh -huh. although I kept moving. So mm -hmm. then at some point I was like, okay, enough of this now uh, that she's pregnant. Like, that's like a year. Um, uh, that's what's after our marriage. That's a couple of months, actually. Okay. So then I was like, okay, she's pregnant and she's, she's, she still goes to university to teach. I'll, 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 I'll go sort of, she needs my life. Uh, she needs me in her life uh, now. Yeah. I'm better useful there than here. Mm -hmm. So um, then I had to now go and sort of feel like uh, Seto-ish. I got a job and, <laughs> and worked at a gym okay. as a trainer and... Uh, until, um, fast forward, um, until of course I had to sort of, again, we had to talk about uh, what it is that we, that is working with us. Is it, is it there? Is it here? Mm -hmm. um, and as a, as a family, we agreed to, to relocate to Rwanda. Okay, no, well that, that, that makes it very interesting because um, um, how, was, how was it like being like an interracial couple? Like, in Denmark, like dating, living together in Denmark, versus here in Rwanda, you know, because um, was there a difference? Or? That's an interesting question. Yeah, yeah, of course, of yeah. course. So you realize, as an international couple, you realize that um, it doesn't matter where, how well you know the country you live in. If it's not your country of origin, mm -hmm. there is still that fair share of, um, there's still that price you pay for being not from there. Okay. And um, so she pays it here, and every time I lived in Denmark, I paid it there. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, it could be like um, just uh, a context issue. It could be uh, negotiating with the with a motor guy if you want to go from point A to point B, and then all of a sudden you don't know what it is. And it could be like those daily qu questions that she asked me when we were in Rwanda about a certain conversation she sort of overheard and what they were talking about and what she thinks. Like, then you, uh, it, only when you analyze the, the, the kind of questions, uh, you're like, okay, these are um, uh, questions driven by the culture shock or the cultural difference. Yeah. But um, you have to know that they, they will uh, continue to exist. So, um, and of course, um, in Rwanda, the, the price I feel like I pay is really less comp because it's my home mm -hmm. compared to her, to her. But of course, as an international couple, there are still challenges also, given that uh, it is still considered uh, uh, something outside the norm to sort of marry um, a foreigner that doesn't look like you or 